Navigating about a 3D model can be easily achieved using the 3D view control and the 3D camera control located in the lower left hand corner of the drawing screen. The 3D view control allows you to select the blue directional arrows. When selected, the model will be oriented such that the camera is positioned from that side of the model looking down at a 45 degree angle. In this case, selecting the left triangle will give you the view from the left side looking down. Arrows can continue to be selected and the model will be reoriented to that view. The red ring that sits inside the blue directional arrows can be selected to both rotate the model as well as to control the vertical incline at which the model will be viewed. The closer to the center that the red circle is clicked, the steeper the angle at which the model will be viewed. The bottom of the red circle is always representative of the perspective that is currently being viewed. Using that theory, selecting the right triangle will give us a view from the right side perspective and then selecting the red circle towards the bottom of the screen will lessen the incline that we're looking at the model. Selecting the left side will rotate that model from the current angle. Returning to the 3D view controller, the blue circle in the center will generate a top-down view of the model. Once again, selecting the blue arrow towards the bottom of the screen will give a front perspective angled down at 45 degrees. The model can be panned to the left or to the right using the 3D camera controls. By simply clicking on those, the model will be shifted accordingly, either left or right, or in this case, up or down. The plus and minus will actually step the model in or out, respectively. The binoculars, or the look to surface command, will allow you to click on a object or surface, and the camera will be adjusted to zoom in to that selected surface. Once again, to use zoom to surface, click the command, position the cursor over the object to bring to the forefront, and click. Softline will automatically zoom in to that surface. Arrow keys and the mouse wheel can be used to incrementally step forward or backwards on the model. The curved arrows on the 3D camera control will allow for panning to take place left and right. Through the use of the 3D view controller and the 3D camera controls, whether it be zoom to surface, the zooming in and out using the plus and minus sign, or even the pan arrows, these camera controls should allow you to easily navigate about the model and generate the views you need.